Well, some disturbing accusations against District Attorney Bill Hicks from the attorney for Jessica Weaver. Now, she's the mother of the three-year-old little boy who drowned at a Northeast El Paso water park back in May. Weaver is now charged with injury to a child and is being extradited to El Paso from Indiana to face charges. KTSM 9 News reporter Tony Davis received a statement from Weaver's attorney. Tony. Estella Weaver's Houston based attorney released a statement criticizing the DA's press conference from yesterday, saying that it is an act of vindictive retaliation for suing the city. Her son, Anthony Malave's death sparked outrage on social media and according to a local defense attorney, posts made on social media can play a major part in court cases. The allegations from Jessica Weaver's attorney claim that the only life jackets at Camp Cohen, which is run by the city, were at a first come, first serve basis and that no outside flotation devices were allowed. During yesterday's press conference, DA Bill Hicks said numerous witnesses who were at the water park came forward. However, in the statement sent to us by Weaver's attorney, he goes on to say in part, quote, if the city and the DA had any interest whatsoever in seeking justice for Anthony and holding the responsible parties accountable, the DA would be pursuing charges against the 17 lifeguards and the water park officials who were ultimately responsible for ensuing the safety of the water park guests. Several videos have been posted to social media platforms like Instagram from the day Weaver was at the water park with her son. There have been several comments made under the post with some blaming Weaver for her son's death. This has led to questions that if Weaver was indicted, would she be judged fairly? But according to a local defense attorney, he says it's okay for potential jurors to form an opinion based on outside sources, but must stay unbiased come trial. You know, it's okay if you've heard of a case before, but what is not okay is for you to, to have preformed an opinion. So everyone who, you know, and forgive me because I do love FitFam, um, everyone on FitFam who's already formed an opinion as to her guilt or her not guilt, those would not be good jurors and they would be disqualified because they've already made up their minds. While the videos can be used if this case makes it to trial, Underwood believes that the case should not solely rely on them. And so it's hard to say just on the videos. I, I think the videos are just a very small piece of, of what apparently they have. Uh, I think the witness statements and the people who were there will, will ultimately be more important than, you know, 30, 30, 45 seconds total of video from an entire day. Weaver's attorney, who is handling her civil case, did end his statement inviting the district attorney and the media to two depositions in the civil lawsuit if they, quote, have any interest in seeking the truth of what led to Anthony's tragic death. Live in studio, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News. Okay.